Happy Friday, Alex. Happy Friday, Roy. Happy Friday, Spicy Fruit. Yeah, podcast episode number two is has set sail. Has set sail. Yes. We're going to talk about something really crazy. Yeah. Um, it, it involves why we started wasabi and spicy yeah. fruit. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's get right into it. Do, do let's you think, go. You think we fell off? Um... Is this too okay? That's too soon. How is your weekend? <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. How is your weekend? Uh, well, how is your weekend gonna be? How? Yeah. Yeah. How? How, uh, how was your week? Week's good, bro. The uh, California is raining. It's been it raining is, for it, all f- oh. since last week. Oh yeah. Remember? Uh, I think like the very beginning, like Sunday, it was crazy raining. I was I was driving. I had to drive like forty minutes from my brother's place to my place, uh-huh. and it was pouring. Was the highway like? flooded um i i i just don't stay on the outer lanes because that's where the water drains oh. and then you hit the things but have you ever hydroplaned i have i i only stay in the outer lanes because i want a hydroplane <laughs> okay. it's like surfing man no, it was not you ever see the the pokemon card the surfing pikachu I, yeah. I strive to be like that whenever it's like hydroplane it's fun it's scary it's fun especially if you understand how to hydroplane because you you're supposed to speed up so no. that's the secret. You you find Wait. every time I see a big ass puddle in the road, I yeah. always go fast. I no, go, is that true? Yes. You're don't spread misinformation. No, this is true. You're supposed to speed up when there's a puddle. You're supposed to speed up because what happens is your your front wheel and your I don't it, it prevents fish tailing is what I'm trying to say. It's oh. the same thing for black ice. You're like, supposed to speed up on black ice. You're not that's supposed to break. You're not supposed to break. You're, you're not supposed, supposed to, to break. press on the gas, and then it'll reshift itself. That's the secret. I feel like that's not true. Look, look. Okay. You're spreading false okay, information. Okay, what's the truth? You're supposed to take your foot off the accelerator and let your vehicle slow down. R- regain the brakes. Press you, the acceleration. You're about to freaking cause problems, cause accidents. Then how come whenever I do it, I, I surf? <laughs> you're... Whenever I hit the hydroplane, I grab the wheel really tight and I'm like, oh, for a second. And then it recatches. But that is scary when you do. Dude. It's so scary. I think one of the worst, it's not hydroplaning, but one of the worst experiences I had with like not being able to control my car is on the way to Big Bear. And it just like rained and it was like icy in the road. And I was like, I'll be fine. Because you know how you're supposed to have snow tires, yep. snow chains? Yeah. Did not have it. I'm like, I'm going to be good. I'm freaking uh prideful so i go up the mountain and then all of a sudden i we start turning and turning i'm like (gasps) nothing happened it just ended up backwards yeah the car was like backwards and then luckily we didn't hit a car because the car was coming towards us on the other lane so yeah that was the only time that was only time driving in the snow than in the rain because i had a bad experience in the rain one time what happened i was driving i was i think i was on hillendale road oh okay in North Carolina, in Durham, and I was going, and then I guess, like, my tire, the treads weren't great, so I was in the Durango. I'm driving by myself home from work, and I'm going around this curve, and then my back tire starts slowly turning out, I'm like, oh, whoa, and then I'm going, like, I'm going (laughs) sideways. I end up going sideways down the road. My back tires go up on the curb, so my back tires are in the grass. My front tires are in the road, and I'm going completely horizontal with the road, and I can't stop. I'm like, I'm just holding on. Oh, There's a side street. My back tires come off onto the side street. I go across the side street, go back up on the curb, and there's this huge hill, like 20-foot drop, (gasps) and I'm about to go over it, and I'm looking to my right. I'm like, oh, no. And then I go, doo-doo, hit the curb again. And the stop sign, I hit the stop sign. The stop sign catches my car <gasps> from rolling down the 20-foot hill. And I get out, and it's stuck under my back tire. And it really saved my life, pretty <gasps> much. Whoa. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Right? What was this? I was like, never, I was like never 17 or 18. Oh didn't my know God. what to do. I called my dad. I was like, Dad, it's raining. The treads on the tire aren't great. I slid. I hit a stop sign. And then he was like, is there anybody around? And I was like, N- uh, no. And he's like, go. I was like, go, go? What do you mean go? And he's like, just just go home. I was like, oh, okay. And then when I was, I was like, okay, I put it in four-wheel drive, got off the st- stop sign. And in my rearview mirror, I saw this lady walking a dog with her phone out. <gasps> and I was like, oh, no. So then I drive like two miles, still on the phone with my dad. I, I see a cop car coming. I was like, oh. <gasps> and I was like, wait, wait. He pulled me over, and I was like, "I was like, yeah, I'm getting pulled over." He's like, "What?" And I was like, "Hold on, he's coming." And then when he came out, I put my phone down in my pocket, and then I went into like uh, fake 
panic mode okay. to make the cop feel like, that, oh, yeah. he's just a kid, he's just a kid. Uh-huh. So then the cop's like, sir, you know, you can, it's a felony to leave the scene of an accident. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. And he was like, where are you going? I was like, I didn't have my phone. I was going to the nearest phone to call my dad because I've never been in an accident. I didn't know what to do. I was so scared. I'm so glad you're here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a life lesson. Please don't ruin it for me. <laughs> and, Jeez. and he's like, oh, okay, 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 okay. Just go home. I was like, okay. I went home. And then I picked up a phone. I was like, it worked. And he That's was like, I can't believe it wild. Yeah. Okay, great. I, I I get why you don't like staying on the side of the road for the thing. That makes sense. What a what a story, man. Yeah. Mine was just like, oh, nothing happened. Yours is like, oh, yeah. here's a whole adventure. Super scary. Well, speaking of falling off the hill, do you think we fell off? I, I, I don't really understand falling off because, like, first of all, okay. I'm just grateful that we got to a point where we could fall off mm-hmm. because that's success yeah it's like if you get to a point where you could fall off there you go 99.9 percent of people don't even make it that far mm-hmm. so that's good but falling off like like the only reason why i'm asking i run into these comments every now and then like oh yo, you're only doing wasabi and spicy fruit because you fell off and the only way to get back up is together or blah 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 so yeah did we oh, fall is off that, people think that's why we got back together some people do they're like oh well <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I feel like if I wanted to, I could daily vlog again. I could yeah. put myself through all that again and I could get millions of views again, mm-hmm. but I don't want to. Like I've already done that. I've already gotten past all that. So yeah. I, I've realized through all the hardships, through all the success, through all the falls that succeeding or failing is better with you or with a best friend. <laughs> Like, I'd rather, like, I don't care if we succeed or fail. As long as we're doing it together, we're having fun doing it. We work every day. I work way more than I used to. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like, I don't even care about the views. I just want yeah. to, I just want to be able to provide for my family mm-hmm. and take care of my friends and and just be happy. I think people are delusional when they say that because I also saw the same comment on Mr. Beast's newest video, like, oh, Mr. Beast fell off. He's not yeah. making 100 million views anymore. I'm like, bro, this has like 60 million views. Yeah. So it's like people are so used to that that standard number that you're seeing. Yeah. Like uh, at our peaks, we, we had so many views, but then compared to now, not as much. And they just kind of see that as a sign of like failure, a sign of like a downfall. Yeah. Which is, it makes it's sense. It's weird that people like wish for other people's downfalls. Like, when I got into the boxing scene, that's where I super was like, wow, like there's whole ass fan bases out there where the leader of that fan base, whoever the YouTuber or influencer is, they tell them that they wish for people's downfalls. Mm. Like they wish that they they crash and burn and they can't support their family and they're bus- they go bankrupt. And mm. I'm like, whoa. So things like, fell off or things like irrelevant Mm -hmm. those are just bullying terms that other influencers made okay Mm -hmm. and made people think it's okay to think that way yeah so like relevant irrelevant like i that is a recent thing maybe in the last five or ten years of youtube yeah before that i never heard of that term in my life like in high school it's like oh you're not a popular kid you're irrelevant i never heard that because that's just a bullying phrase to make you feel lesser but it's just weird that people see that, think that way. And I, I feel like they think, oh, it's, it's just online. Everybody's like that on the internet. It's not, I don't really want you to, to uh, kill yourself or I don't really want you to, to fail in life and not be able to support your kids. But I, I'll, I'll say it because it's not that big a deal. I'm not there. It's not, I'm not really. But it's a crazy thing to be okay with saying that. Mm-hmm. I would never, no matter... Who, I mean, maybe there's a couple people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Where like, I'm like, yo, like, you're just not a good person. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I don't hope for you to fail, but I wouldn't mind to see you not succeed. Yeah. I mean, the people commenting that, they're usually behind yeah. the screen. So it's kind yeah. of, they don't have the emotional capacity to understand what that yeah. even means. I feel like the people that talk like that, they'll grow up and regret it. Like, they'll be like, I can't believe I used to say that. I can't Mm -hmm. believe. I'm so glad I've matured past that. Like, what was I thinking? Mm -hmm. Uh, I've never really been into gaming. 
-hmm. but I'll see clips of people gaming and they're just like, I am blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yo, what? Yeah. It's crazy. Like bashing on other people and stuff? Yeah, just like. I mean, that is their job. Yeah. And they know what triggers people and yeah. that's just how they make their livelihood. Kind of sucks. Yeah. Because, you know, that can, ugh, I just hate when people degrade other people when not, not really knowing them. Yeah. I used to have that all the time in guava juice, bro. What? Just like people hating on guava juice. Like once you succeed, you're going to have haters. And like a lot yeah. of people say, if you don't have haters, you're not successful enough. Yeah. yeah. So you were up there. I like was, you were, everybody knew guava juice. Everybody bro. in the whole world knew guava juice. Kids, other YouTubers, um, everybody knew guava juice. And the only reason they made videos, I've never watched them, but I, I've seen the thumbnails and titles. Yeah. Um, they're only making that because they know it will get views because you're popping. That is true. So that's the only reason. There was a time in Guava Juice where I just made the trending page every time. Mm -hmm. And that's when all the hate videos came out because I just kept seeing my yeah. face. And it sucks because like that that's not your audience. That's not the audience. Yeah. But then, you know. I saw that. And I saw I, I would see tweets or something. You'd be like, stop putting me on the trending page, please, YouTube. Stop yeah, it. dude. That's the only reason why I hate yeah. it. Because I just didn't know how to handle with all the hate. I don't care now just because I understand why people did do the did the did those videos. <laughs> Yeah. It hurts, bro. It hurt. I was like literally sad for like a year. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um I, I've never really uh it's never really affected me, but I had a lot of YouTube friends that like like Fousey, mm. I'm okay with saying that because he's talked about it multiple times. Sure. On podcasts and stuff. He he lets comments get to him. Mm. I'm like, yo, you gotta know, like they don't know you. Their opinion doesn't matter. They're not they only see what you show them. And like it, it's crazy how much uh, people let that affect them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa! Uh, I, it never affected me. Like I never looked at comments. I'm like, oh, they hate me. I, it just never. I was like, oh, I never really saw it as. I, I never put it on the level of like a friend saying that. If a friend said that, I'd be like, whoa, man, like that yeah. hurt. But if just a random person online, I don't. What? It doesn't matter. Never bothered you at all. Like not like, really. Oh, okay. No. <clears throat> I think. Uh, it bothered me more when other influencers would say things like when I had the public breakup. Yeah. People were saying it's fake or like it's more, you know, I only ever get upset when other people are upset. Like people I care about are upset. Then I'll get upset. Mm -hmm. But initially it's never bothers me. Dude, being in the entertainment world is freaking crazy, man. Yeah. It's, it's mentally like, crazy. It's like, whoa. Like I didn't expect all this thing to happen and then just like. This is why I try to keep most of my life private so people don't know who I am. <laughs> yeah. What, well, uh, so consistently, sure. what were the highest views you've gotten? Not like the one video that blew up. Like con at, in a consistent time period, what was like around the most views you were getting um, for each video? Between like it's probably 700K to 2 million. Yeah. yeah. I think my, my peak was 2 million when... I was vlogging. Yeah. Like I was doing daily vlogging. And at one point I was getting 2 million views. By the time the next video came out, it already had 2 million. I was like, what? It was crazy at that time. Um, and, but I was like, I was not happy. No, oh, yeah, same. It was more like I felt robotic doing yeah. the things that I did. Um, it wasn't really until the pandemic that I kind of slowed down. Like, whoa, what the heck? I just did all that work and then all the burnt just came out of nowhere and just boom but yeah, yeah dude we we fell off yeah two million <laughs> like, two million uh so what's your overall views on guava overall yeah like total views yeah uh, like i don't know that's how much i get like nine billion total views yeah i think what's obvious like between four and five billion or something like that yeah long form views though yeah that's yeah. hard it's different yeah. yeah shorts are just like shorts are random it just yeah. pops off it's 200 million I views don't really get paid that much mm -hmm. so i'm sure everybody anybody that's commenting oh you guys fell off you fell off yep. i guarantee they wish they could have 13 billion views mm -hmm. like all right I'll, I'll fall off let me get that 13 billion views yeah, real yeah. quick <laughs> i mean it's just i don't know if it's human nature but people would love negative things yeah negative thing just always triggers people and people are just so invested in it like there is that one channel that just kind of talks about downfalls of youtubers and that's oh, how they that kind whole of channel? There's yeah. a whole channel about that yeah yeah, yeah. like the downfall of ryan higo david Let's dobrick yeah, yeah stuff like that yeah people love it so that's that's 
smart, but at the same time, like, come on. So are the, if you retire, is it called, a, like, did Ryan Higa fall off or he just stopped? I don't know. It's hard. I don't I mean, understand that Well, you're still making, like, he's a streamer now. Oh, he's a streamer? I didn't yeah. know that. What about Jenna Marbles? What's she doing? Yeah, I, I but like, that. is I it considered it. falling off just because she doesn't post anymore? Or like, think about like a. Uh, she stopped because she had like this controversy, and then she was like, "All right, well, you got my ass. I'm gonna just not post anymore." Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's how I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Who else from our class of Her- 2006, like back <laughs> in the day, like oh geez, there was Steve Cardinal. Remember him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he was doing uh, music in real life, and then I oh. I- the, the story where yeah. we Steve yeah. Cardinal if you don't know Steve Cardinal he's the guy who did that one popular video the wrecking ball video yeah he's like naked and yeah yeah you can look it up but he was like posting and we were posting around the same time and I like I didn't know I guess proper YouTube etiquette because we were creating it together mm-hmm. so I didn't know and so he did a music in real life I was like oh that's so funny we should do that so we did one because I was like, oh, we got inspired by his video. We thought it was yeah. super funny. But like, oh, let's do it. Let's do our version of it. Mm-hmm. And he did not like that. He was like, oh, this is my idea. He DM'd me. <laughs> I don't remember on MySpace or, or Twitter or something. Yeah. And uh, I remember saying something like, oh, he posted a new one. I was like, yo, that was so funny or something. And his response was, stop fucking copying me. Oh and I was like, God. whoa. And it's the first like controversy I had like in the YouTube world. And I, I responded like, bro, I'm so sorry. I, we were inspired by you. We thought, we think you're so funny. We love you. Like I, yeah. I, I didn't mean to, we didn't mean to do any, like mm-hmm. we were, we, I, I thought there's like imitation is flattery kind yep. of stuff. I didn't know that you were upset about this. We've never talked before. Yeah. I didn't even expect him to respond. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he did not like that. And then uh, after I sent that, he apologized. I was like, I'm so sorry, man. I'm just having a bad day. And I was like, oh, it's all good. I just, I don't want to upset you. I just, we just are such big fans. And uh, yeah, I was shocked. That's crazy. Now everyone's kind of copying each other. Yeah, nowadays. That's, that's what YouTubers do. Yeah, I mean, it's just taking an idea and just kind of making it your, making own. your own or, or just Straight up, copying. yeah. <laughs> some people do that. There's some people just straight oh, copying, whoa. same format, same editing, same thumbnail, exact that's the formula. same thumbnail. I mean, you, you, they, that's it worked. It worked. Like, all right, let's take that same formula and just go with it. Yeah, and people keep doing it because it does work. Mm-hmm. If you just steal other people's stuff, but it works, and mm-hmm. like, there's no shame either in YouTubers. I'm like, whoa, that is exactly what that person did. Yeah. Like, we do it, but we completely change it. Mm-hmm. We know, like, oh, we like that idea, but this is how we would have done it. Let's do it like this. But some people do it exact same. It's crazy. And it works. It's crazy. There's, like, a Mr. Beast copycats, and mm-hmm. they have millions of subscribers, millions of views. And they're just doing exactly what he did. Exact yeah, same dude. video. Every time he uploads, they do the same video. You know, there's a Russian Mr. Beast called A4. does the same thing. And he gets a lot of views. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, people are like, I don't care. Because things are like temporary. So if you copy, then you'll be temporary. You'll get published about it. People will talk about it. People will be like, oh, did you see this YouTuber? Did you see this YouTuber? It's just more publicity, more publicity. And then eventually it blows over. Something else happens. And then you have all those subscribers and views from that controversy. But that controversy in the past, nobody's going to remember it. And now there's something, other YouTuber did something crazy and they don't even remember. What other YouTubers fell off? Oh, if you can't see, if you're listening on Spotify, it's, uh, I'm doing air quotes. <laughs> um, remember, uh, oh, Smosh? They, they never fell off, but no. they, they broke up. Yeah. They got back together. Yep. Oh, who else? Ray William Johnson. Never watched him, but I, he was a big, big thing when he fell off or like quit or whatever he did. Happy Slip. That's a good one. Happy Slip. Uh, Fred. Fred, Lucas. Dude, YouTube is so unforgiving, bro. It's If you don't change with the platform, you're going to die. Oh, yeah. And um, that's what we're doing. We're changing. And yeah. if you don't evolve, you're going to you're gonna lose. Yeah. There's some YouTubers that are stuck in the past, and they, all they do is complain about n- new YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, it sh- I liked it better like this. It should have been like this. But they won't, they're not adapting. They're not evolving. Yeah, dude. And then they're just left behind. You can't control YouTube. Yeah. But you can control how you move on. Yeah, you can control how you react to things. Dude, speaking of Sposh, you remember when they got back together? Um, this was like probably a month before we got back together on Spicy Fruit. Yeah. 
we got uh, back together and then a month later we're like no way yeah it was cool because it was cool to see the parallels of another best friend duo that started we like us and them i feel like we're the duos mm. back in the day we started youtube and it was it was uh trial and error we didn't know what we we're doing mm -hmm. we we're just both figuring it out they're doing weird videos we're doing weird videos i feel like we we're both our both our audiences were for the weird kids mm -hmm. and i still like to believe that we're for the weird, weird kids i don't yeah. want to be for the popular i mean kids. look how i'm like dressed up like a snorlax yeah Who does that we're just grown up weird kids dude i feel you I like it. I, I I never wanted to be for the pop. TikTok, they're like all those, remember all those dances they used to do for the cool kids and like, mm -hmm. oh, the popular kids do this. I didn't like that. I, I, I want to be for the weird kids. I loved it. I did the dances. <laughs> I, didn't, I loved you it. You did the sensual ones, the ones like the, the F boys were doing? Uh, yeah. Really? I put my own take to that, man. Yeah. If you're but weird, you made it you're weird. weird. I made it my style. There you I'm go. Not weird. You call me weird. I think we're weird kids. Oh, okay. What was our click in high school? Were um, we not the weird kids? I didn't really talk to anyone. My, I hated everyone in my high school. I was a social butterfly. <laughs> yeah, it was complete opposite. See, every duo, you need the complete opposite. Yeah, you I have... was like, I, I feel like I was, we were in the weirder group. Mm -hmm. um, but we were like the cool weird kids, like the emo kids, the funny kids. Uh, but I was also friends with the preppy kids. I was also friends with the jocks. I was also yeah. friends with the gangs. <laughs> yeah that was the gangs, you the gays loved me oh the gays the gangs gangs yes the gangs oh okay got it. i heard well the gays too they yeah, loved yeah. me too me too i, I, like, I really got along with everybody uh but the gangs like i don't know why they always like kind of took me under their wing like i would hang out with the gangs and we would like they'd be like yo come to this party i'm like all right on new year's one time i oh. went to this random party in the hood in Durham, North Carolina, uh -huh. where it was one of the, it was, it was the most dangerous city in America at one point, like yeah. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we went to this party and New Year's came around three, two, one, everybody pulled out guns. <laughs> everybody <laughs> was up. shooting guns. No. In, yeah. Everybody went outside. No. They shot guns into the ground. I shot guns in the ground. They gave me, they're like, you want to do it? I was like, yeah, they gave me a gun pop, 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 into the ground because it's the safest way to do it. But it, not just where I was, we're shooting. You could hear it for miles around. Everybody shooting guns no. in the ground. Yeah. No. I was friends with everybody, man. That's good. Good for you, man. But how did you see me in high school? Um. What did you think? I of? honestly did not see you often. Really? I saw yeah. you every lunch. I don't know. It was you, me, Tyler, Drew. Every now and then, I feel like you were there. I honestly deleted high school from my memory. Well, I was making rounds too. I would, I would, yeah. be, you guys were my main group, but I would also go say hi, go say hi, sit at another table, sit at another table. Did we hang out in high school? Yeah. In school? At lunch, at least. Well, we were in different grades. I was a grade higher than you. I so. don't remember. Really? Yeah. Were you even in my high school? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Not for the first two years. I transferred into your school okay. for junior and senior yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay. Yeah. Dude, how come I don't remember this? Did I just get that traumatized from high school where I completely removed it from my why, memory? Why didn't you like high school? It was I don't know. It was just like people were weird. Um, I didn't go along with anybody. I was just by myself. I'm sure people can relate, right? Because yeah. sometimes you just don't click with anybody. Except huh. your, I guess your small knit of friends. I only had like five friends in high school that really I connected to. Hmm. Yeah. Now that we're talking about this, yeah, I don't really remember my high school. I was just ready to graduate and leave. I loved high school. I just like to figure out my classes and how to make them laugh and the different audiences. Each class was a different audience. Mm. Uh, like my AP classes, it was the smart kids. So I was like, oh, how am I gonna make the smart kids laugh? I had to have more clever jokes. Mm -hmm. Then I had like gym class, the jocks. How am I gonna make the jocks laugh? Yeah. And stuff like that. I have so many stories from high school, just crazy adventures that people would be like, that's not true. You saw that in a TV show. Like, no, that really happened. Dang. Yeah. For me, I was just like, huh, everyone sucks. Dude, I was so emo. I think I, 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 I just <laughs> didn't say it to everybody. Dang. I didn't know that. I didn't realize I was a hateful dude huh. until now. Yeah. I loved it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I got picked on a lot. Remember, there's one Did time. You? Kind of, not really. It was just no, not really like random person. It's just our friend. I tell you the story where I just uh, it was last day of school. Mouth, mouth the name to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh we can't say that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, we had this friend. I don't know why he picked on me. I just thought it was funny. Yeah. But 
I remember it was last day of school. Uh, got out of, just heading home, oh, but I, I had like story. all my art projects. I worked so hard and like all these little drawings and paintings. Yep. And then I go to the parking lot. I see you, my friend. He's like, "Hey, what's up, Asian?" And then he kicks all my my uh, my art projects, and they fell on the floor and water all messed up. I'm like, "Oh, come on, man!" And then another incident. Same was, guy. Same guy. What? Walking to my car, and then all of a sudden, it's like, "Hey, man!" He kicks me in the mouth. Just like he goes, "Whoop!" Hits me in the mouth, bleeding. He said sorry, but just like, why, man? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. People don't know. People like that are the ones who comment you fell off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most likely, yeah. I didn't know. I thought you guys were friends. We were friends. I, I met guess. him through you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. don't know what caused the hatred in his heart. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's talk about, let's start from the beginning. All like right. YouTube. Sure. We started making videos before YouTube became a thing. Mm -hmm. And... You asked me to do a video. Exactly. You were doing videos with your friends. And I was like, oh, man, I want to do it. And then you asked me to do one. I was like, yes. And then we did one. And then we kept doing them. Mm -hmm. And at first, there was a group of, there was like a group of like eight guys that switched out. Yeah, one of those guys was the guy who kicked my art. <laughs> I'm so sad about it, man. I, I wanted to frame one of them. No. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. But uh, move on. That was like 17, 19 years ago. Yeah. So we all started and then um, YouTube became a thing. And we're yeah. like, whoa. And then we saw it as a place, just like a storage place, mm -hmm. just to put your videos. But oh, cool. We have a place to put our videos. And then we started getting a lot of views. We did. Like one view, 100 views. At first, it was just friends and family. And then me, I'd watch it like a hundred times. Yeah, yeah. And then it started getting in the thousands. And I was like, Whoa, that's weird. And then it started getting in the tens of thousands and then hundreds of thousands, millions eventually. And that was crazy. I was like, oh, whoa, this is a thing. Yeah. There used to be a hack. Or not really a hack, but back in the day, I would go to the Apple store and just play all the videos yeah. and put on repeat and then leave. Same. So it. a lot of those hundreds of views came from the Apple store. Uh, and and the school library. I did that too. Oh, you did? Yep. I would go wow. after after school every day. I would go there and put it on all the computers and then leave. Then why did we keep doing it? Why did we? Oh, keep making videos? Yeah. Well, I think we just really enjoyed the creative outlet because all the other people we used to make videos with, there's like eight of them. Yeah. They all moved on. They all were like, oh, I want to talk to girls now. I yeah. want to do sports now. I want to do cool people things because back in the day we were not popular for what we did mm -hmm. we were the weird kids people are like oh now different time but you're like the popular kid now if you have a lot of views and subscribers yep back in the day we were not but we didn't care everybody we, questioned us for doing everybody. youtube this is 2008 2009 yep. 2010 you mentioned youtube you're like why like it, what How, why do you waste your time doing that yeah, yeah yeah it was not a popular thing to do but we did it and then we just kept going we kept going not getting paid mm -hmm. there's no adsense back then nope uh i don't know what year adsense was made but we were even late on that when it was made we did didn't look into it a couple yeah. years passed i think i remember this it was 2010 this yeah. is when your dad showed the article of the top paid youtubers and we saw smosh uh, Ryan Higa and we were getting the same views. Yeah, and we were like, "Why are we?" Well, I don't know paid? the same views, but like we we could, yeah, get to that level. But we were getting, we we're definitely in the top ten YouTubers at the time. AdSense happened. Mm -hmm. My dad was like, "You guys should do AdSense." We did it. Boom! Started making money. Boom! Rich Orlando, call me maybe parody took off. Mm -hmm. That super took off. It has 146 million views right now, I believe. But in that time period with the inflation, that's probably like. 300 million views right now yeah. If it, yeah back in the time so then that took off and what'd you think i said damn that's a lot of money yeah <laughs> that's a lot of views it was the first paycheck was 10 times what i make in a month mm. when i worked a lot yeah every day and i couldn't believe it this is where people mess up they see they have like a video pop off like that and they don't capitalize on it. Yeah. They kind of like take all the the riches and the, you know, they the buy moments. Lambos, they buy houses, they buy, they just waste, they blow that money. Mm -hmm. You still see it today. 
Yeah. Like, especially the younger TikTokers, streamers, YouTubers, they think, oh, I made it. I'm a cool person now. And they just buy all this stuff, not realizing that, that money doesn't last forever. And life is a long time. And you're eventually going to have a family to take care of. Mm-hmm. So if you have a million dollars, it's not going to last your whole life. That's not enough. That's that's what I'm saying. If they don't focus on what got them there, then yeah. it doesn't really matter. But that's what we did. We took care of it. And we took care of it like it was our baby. We're like, let's capitalize on Richard Rolando. Let's yeah. see where it could take us. And uh, we moved to L.A., which I hated. Yeah. Because you were like, let's move to L.A. Well, that's what, because we kept having to go over there for meetings and stuff. So, and all the big YouTubers were there and I was like, oh, if we're going to take this serious, we have to go where it's taken seriously. I'm like, I hate it. Um, But I love you so. Yeah. Do I really though? Um, Uh, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll break up with you in a couple of years. Yeah. yeah, yeah, That's what happened. 10 years. (laughs) What? No. No. hundred years, hundred years. We break up. Oh, no. But like a year after we. No, I'm talking about when I broke up with you to make guava juice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it again in a hundred years. No, we won't. We're dead. Yeah, a hundred years, we got it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy to think, but this is how I always, I always thought. Sure. There's being rich, and then there's being wealthy. Mm-hmm. And what you want to do is be wealthy. The rich, it's like, oh, you have all this money, but you're spending as much money as you're making. So if you make ten thousand a month and you're spending nine thousand a month, you're not wealthy. Mm-hmm. You might be rich, you might have money, but you're not wealthy. Wealthy is when you make a lot of money and then you spend a little bit of money. Then you're you're increasing your wealth. So that's that's what you should do. But YouTubers don't do that. They buy Lambos. They want to show off. They want to show the world that they're the best. They want to be number one. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's not a good mindset because you it's draining, first of all, and you can't maintain that forever. Mm-hmm. Even Mr. Beast. I love Mr. Beast, but eventually he will fall off one day. Uh, like well not really fall off but yeah. eventually he's not going to get as many views as, like he's the most popular and it's been a while and he's going to main be the most popular for a long time but eventually somebody's going to pass him just like PewDiePie got passed just like uh we got passed just like Smosh got passed just like Ryan Higa I think they were the first YouTubers to hit a million views mm-hmm. or a million subscribers mm-hmm. and then everybody gets passed you can't maintain it forever there's always going to be somebody better there's always going to be somebody stronger faster smarter funnier um, so you can't, it's just living like that comparisons, thief of happiness. Like it's gonna, it's gonna destroy you. When do you think Mr. Beast will get past or fall off, fall off quotes, quotes? I don't know. He's still got a long time. Like I'm sure he could just stop for 10 years and come back and blow up again. It's I just, feel like he is smart. Yeah. If, if, if he falls smart. off on YouTube, he's going to mean, he's going to go to somewhere else. Yeah. So I don't know wherever. Yeah. He's, he's set. He's, he's like one once in a lifetime kind of. Mm-hmm. Level. Elvis Presley, <laughs> number one at the time, like crazy. Nobody's even gotten close to what he accomplished. Now there's so many people that have passed his records. Yeah, so many people that have surpassed what he's done um, because it just happens. And then even before him, we don't even know who it was. Like but I, we don't even remember that person. But they were the number one most known, most famous person in the whole wide world in the 1930s. I don't know who the number one was. And in 50 years, they're gonna be like, oh, remember Mr. Beast? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Maybe a hundred years. He's that dude's popular. <laughs> Has there been a crater that fell off and popped back up? Uh, Shane Dawson. Oh yeah. But he, then and then he fell off yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just. I think his thing is popping, falling off, popping, falling off. Yeah. Uh, there, there's him. Who else? Do you think we can make it back to where we were? Uh, I don't like to think that way. I just want to be sustainable Uh uh-huh i don't care if we get back to two million views per video yeah i just want to have fun doing it um with you Mm -hmm. and uh just be uh financially stable yeah just where we're not losing money we're not breaking even we're making money but as long as we can maintain like my life my family your family it is tiring man yeah because, you know, together we probably posted over 5,000 videos the yeah. past whatever years. And uh, I was listening to uh, Matt Pat because he did a podcast with Colin Samir, kind mm. of like why he retired and stuff. You got to think about your future, man. And yeah. you got to think about what's sustainable and how you can obtain. I didn't finish it yet, so I'm just making up stuff right now. Who was it again? Matt Pat. Colin Sam- oh, Matt Pat. Yeah, Matt yeah. Pat, yeah. And they said they planned it out in 2018. 
because they just had a kid and you have to once you have a kid your whole life changes yeah. and they just like okay how do we how do we have time yeah and eventually that's what they came up to i think that's why we do our format now because hmm? it's like Rhett and Link, uh, Good Mythical Morning. Yeah. They used to do stuff, and then they got older. They got families. They got kids. They got married, and they were like, "Okay, what's sustainable?" Mm-hmm. And then they went to the, through to the talk show variety show mm. format, and that is way better than daily vlogging every day or doing crazy sketches or yep. crazy videos that drain you. Their format is dope, mm-hmm. and I always thought of them as like a talk show without the. Uh, interview parts yeah they just do the gaming and then sometimes interviews but that's just so amazing and that's why we look up to them and we uh emulate them and we were like you know what the talk show format is for us we're yeah. getting older we're we're pre-kids remember we did, a, we did a podcast with them like when yeah. we first moved to la you remember that <sighs> kind of anyways we did a, a lot of with them yeah and after the the podcast, I was like, "Whoa, they really do feel like uncles." Because yeah. one, they just figured it out. I yeah. kind of like saw them as inspiration. Like, yeah. how are they still friends? Because this is like during the time where I was like sad. Yeah, and I was like, "Man, f Alex." <laughs> <laughs> I was like looking at them. I was like, "How do they make it work? Do I want to make it work?" They're so cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted that, and I feel like we're at that level now where we kind of are yeah. becoming as close as they were i think we're are. matured it just took maturity yeah. like we just weren't their age we haven't lived the lived life like they have and now we're like okay this is the way thank you red and link for being there and showing us the way yeah they were kind of the first of this format i feel like oh yeah they did it before podcast was a thing because yeah. this is kind of like a visual podcast yep uh so they kind of set the set the pioneers of this, and and I'm just grateful to have encountered them and mm-hmm. been able to look up to them, and I want to be them. Like yeah. I want to have a stable family. I want to have their friendship. I want to like, and that's what we're, we're making moves towards it. Right, and Link, thank you for pioneering this this mindset. Yeah. Um, you got to listen to that. Po- I want to listen to that podcast. Yeah, we should because it's to like it. I'm pretty sure we talk shit like underneath our breath. Or at least maybe I don't know. What other podcasts have you been on? None. Really? Yeah. I think. Uh, I, yeah, actually, me too. I've been on. Uh, I've been on Raw Talk with Bradley, Bradley Martin. Mm-hmm. We've been on Brett and Links, The yeah. Biscuits. Yep. I was on there again with Lauren, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I was on Impulsive one time. Mm-hmm. Logan asked me to come on, and me and Logan have been friends since his very beginning when he was popular on vine and then we were neighbors for a long time and i was there when he started youtube Mm -hmm. so i think i have a like we have a connection like a special place in each other's hearts because we we started together and then uh i went on there and i don't think mike liked me very much mike i don't remember logan mike logan's mike yeah, yeah i don't know his last name but he uh he found out that I didn't like to curse because it was family friendly at the time. Sure. And then he was like, then what the fuck are we going to talk about? And he just like didn't want to do the podcast anymore. We did it. Yeah. But he just didn't like me as a guest. Oh. And Logan was kind of defending me. He's like, bro, bro, he's one of my friends. Like, he, he's, I, w- chill. Yeah. Didn't like me. And then uh, we just never had a good encounter. I don't think he doesn't like me. I think th- he just didn't think I was good for the podcast. Ah. Uh. I don't know. But that was a... That was, that was an interesting one. Yeah. How how did it turn out? Like, did I don't remember. Oh. I think I think we were talking about boxing. I can't remember what we talked about, but uh, it was cool seeing. I didn't understand podcasts at the time, so I saw it as more like a skit or a sketch. Oh. But that's not what podcasts are. What do you mean you sketch? You just went there. I was and just like, trying to be funny, <laughs> oh. trying to make things happen, and I think I wasn't like. Uh, in the discussion, like what podcasts actually are, like what we're doing now. Yeah. What are some that you want to be on? I want to be on a podcast. Hmm. My podcasts are kind of boring. It's more like informational. You ever heard of uh, how I built this by Guy Raz talks about like how entrepreneurs built their businesses. That's the stuff I'm into. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Well, what about Colin Samir? You talk, you mentioned them a few times. Hey, Colin Samir, dude. What uh, do they really talk about? They just talk about creators. They bring in creators into their podcast. So they're very guest heavy. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I, I, you know, I would want to be on uh, D 
Theo Vaughn's podcast. I just think he's so funny. Mm. He's my favorite. He's yeah. so funny, so out of pocket. And you can tell the things he says, he, it, the, just the things, there's some things he says where you could tell he's he's thought about that or yeah. he's said that before. But there's some things, it's just improv that I'm like, how did you think of that? That's so funny. And another one I would want to be on is uh, Wild Till Nine for some reason. I feel like there's a lot of, a lot to talk about. Like me and Lauren, if they were comfortable with it mm. and if Alexis were comfortable with it, I would like to go on there and just, because we have very different takes on things. Mm -hmm. Like I would like to talk about like the downfall of Lorex. Oh. And like how she saw things, how I saw things, how there was this big thing. I don't know if she's talked about it. But with her fiance currently, we had a big thing happen. <laughs> like it was crazy, and it was the it was the first and last time in my life where I snapped, and it was not good. It would be cool to talk about it. I've never really talked that out with anybody, and the best person to talk that out out with is the people that were involved, which is me, oh Jeremy, goodness. and Lauren. And then another thing is. I would love to be on Ear Biscuits again because I just love those guys. They're so awesome. They're just like, it's like when you're a kid and you don't know what's going on and you just look up to somebody and you're just like, wow, they have it together. I want to be them. I want to learn from them. I just want to absorb everything we can from them because I just see, I don't, that's They're just. so inspiring, man. Yeah. And it's just a good way to go on Ear Biscuits like 10 years later to yeah. kind of see what is different. Yeah. They, yeah. Uh, I just. Those are, I guess, my idols, yeah. Yeah. Even though, like, I get super nervous around them, I mix up their names because I'm so nervous. Even though I Aww. know their names, I know which one is right. I know which <laughs> one is like. I get so nervous that I'll mess it up, and then when I do, I'm like, ah. <laughs> Bro, they're so tall. Why are they so tall? When I saw Link, I thought he was like my height. North Carolina man. No, he's like six one. I guess it's not North Carolina because we were from there. We're not taller. Well, I was born in the Philippines, so. Yeah, I was born in Montana. If we were born grass-fed north carolinians we would Bro, have been taller how's rhett like six eight like rhett you are one tall guy it's it, i feel like i strive to be that you that's what you want what's the tallest you ever want to be six two that's your I max feel like the average when i ask this question guys always want to be two inches taller would you everybody want to be shorter you want to be my no. height no, that's that, probably that, my height. probably sucks why just because how do you how do you even see over a steering wheel <laughs> How many phone books you got to sit on? Bro, I'm not. I'm, You're not short, no. 5'8". Is that? No, that's not short. Who do you think is my height? Like, you watch YouTube and you... You know when you see people like, oh, that's a tall dude. Justin Bieber. I bet he's your height. I feel he's a little taller. You think? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Who's I don't know. your height? You'd be surprised, huh? Let me see who's your height. Uh Oh, I looked this up. Are you taller uh, than Michael Link? B. Jordan? No, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like a quarter inch, a centimeter under six foot. So, Childish Gambino is my height. Oh, you looked this up? Yeah, I looked it up. Oh. Michael B. Jordan is my height. Okay. Justin Timberlake's my height. YouTubers. Ooh. Uh, I think Anthony. Uh, Anthony Padilla. Padilla. Yeah. You think Ian is my height? It's close. Yeah? It's close. Oh, Ian. How tall are you? You know Markiplier is not my height? He's shorter than me. Really? Yeah. Wow, he looks like a bigger guy. No, I don't know. I saw his... The funny story. I just wanted to see how tall he was one day. And I saw his IMDb. He said he was 5'10". Then I saw him on VidCon. Yeah. He is not 5'10". Why? Did you have platforms on? No. I saw him just walking towards me like, wait, you're not 5'10". That was the first thing that came out of my mind. I was like, you're not 5'10". He's like 5'6". Yeah. Do you five, wish seven. you were taller or shorter? Yeah. Which one? Like your height's nice. 5'11". Like, yeah, 5'11". Yeah. 5'11", 3 fourths, 6 foot. Yeah. I think I'm very, I'm at the, I'm at the height where like I have back problems, but any taller, I would have some back problems because my back hurts. Like growing up, I've had back problems, but I, I don't, I can't imagine being like Aaron's height, 6'3". So you're saying if you're taller, you get more back problems? Yeah. Usually? Why? Because you have to carry all the weight? Yeah. You're taller, you're, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Then how come I have back problems? Uh, because you're just, uh, very athletic. Like you, you, you do stuff, but I feel like if you didn't do stuff and then compare yourself to a six, five person yeah. that didn't do stuff, they would have more problems. I think that's a thing. You wish you had a bigger PP? Mm, yeah, I think I could, I could, I would be cool to have like another inch maybe. Whoa. Just see what it's like, but. Same. Whatever. What are you going to do? Yeah. Same. No. I, growing uh, in college, I looked up different ways. Never worked. 
Which what, which methods did you try? There's the pomegranate method. You ever heard what? that? Beets and pomegranate. No. Where you eat beets and pomegranate for like a month and you're supposed to gain like one centimeter. Really? I think it was fake because nothing happened. Just a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> it, it sucked, brother. <laughs> Believe me, I tried. I looked up ways how I can grow taller. And there's a biotin. It makes hair. Yeah. And it also gives you like tallness. Nah, yeah. it didn't work for me. I think it's more of like a, a height is very diet oriented because Aaron ate a lot growing up and he's way taller mm. i ate okay andrew ate horrible he ate freaking pepperoni for lunch yeah like for most of his childhood mm -hmm. and stuff like that and like he was very picky so he wouldn't eat the things that you're supposed to eat and then he's shorter than us but hmm. that could change i don't know but i think diet I, is a big thing i don't believe that because my brothers ate the same thing i did growing up and I they're don't know. both Raymond six looks foot. pretty like a healthy guy. I feel like, or at least now. Our moms fed us the same thing. So I don't know exactly how, why they're six foot. Huh. They're both six foot and me. Maybe it's because they were born here. I'm saying <laughs> they were born here. <laughs> yeah. But the same thing. That's yeah, the, only, the only thing different. And they ate differently because they, they didn't eat what you ate growing up. You ate Filipino food, which is not the best I was the only there food. for two years, though. Oh. I was mostly here eating the same thing. So hmm. I don't know. Who knows, well, man? Well, also, you were the firstborn, so maybe they, they didn't, they were like, they didn't know things. Like, you know, like, but as Aaron, a parent. your brother Aaron is firstborn. Yeah, and that's he's why he's the tall. tallest. Oh. So it's, it's probably a lottery thing. <laughs> a lot, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. know why. I don't know. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. Why. Is 5'8 short? No. I think the average male height overall in the entire world is like 5'5". Five, five. For females, it's like five really? foot. Yeah. I how, think it might be even shorter. In the world, how about uh, America? Uh, let's look it up. Yeah. Average male height worldwide is five foot seven. Oh, uh, so you win. Average male uh, United States is five foot nine. I oh, see. I'm, I'm below average, bro. No, you're above average just in America. Okay, Philippines. That's where you were born. That's what you are? Philippines. You win for five, sure. Five five? No, five three. Five, five four. four. Five four. Average height in the Philippines, five four? Five four. Five yep, four. For a man. So five. you win by a lot. Whoop whoop. There you go. <laughs> how about how about uh Croatia? I bet you those are tall ass dudes. I bet I, you they're I, six I think foot. the like Russians are the, the tallest? Yeah, they're like the tall or like the they're around their area. Croatia is five foot eleven. I think it's a big nutrition thing because if you prepare, it's like when you do the marathon. If you carbo load before the marathon, if you eat well your whole life leading up to puberty, then you're going to be maximizing your uh, results. All right, here's, here's how I'm going to handle this moving forward. When I have my first child, mm -hmm. when he gets pubertied, mm -hmm. I'm going <laughs> to feed him pomegranates and beets okay. during his puberty. Yeah. Second child, nothing. What if their pee, pee gets too big and it becomes a burden? There's no way. There's no. I've never met someone like, oh, my pee-pee is a burden. No, I, I, I've met guys that... Who? Uh, they were just like, man, it, it sucks because like, you can't put it all the way in. And sometimes it's just uncomfortable for the girl. And I, I've, I've talked to a girl where she said that her, her ex was so big that she didn't want to have sex. So she would just go down on him a lot. Oh. And, so that she didn't have to have sex. Dang. That's... Because... It was just too much. Okay, just like nice sized. Yeah. I'll let you know. That's just my plan. Okay. If my wife allows it. Yeah. Or I How can about... just do it secretly and be like, hey, you want pomegranates, kid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw a method one time where uh, it's like you just stretch it. You just pull it down for like 20 minutes. You pull it up for 20 minutes. You left, right, and you have to do it every day for like a year. Yeah. Never. I didn't try it. I tried extends one time. How would work? Because my friend was in the military. He was like, yo, I got this extends. You want to take it? And I was like, what does it do? He's like, I make a big pee pee. <laughs> I was like, for real? <laughs> I think it's not supposed to do that. I think it only like, it just helps with like erections. But uh, I was like, oh, so no, no, I, I took it and we were taking it for a while. And I stopped after like a week because I was just had anger problems. Oh, It dear. made me mad. Yeah. Anything made me go like Arr! like uh Aaron one time bumped the grocery cart into the, my ankle yeah and I got so mad yeah and then I was like whoa it was the first time I ever like kind of snapped on something 
And I was like, oh, oh, oh. And yeah. I stopped taking it immediately because it was uh, irrational. Like it, it was obviously an accident. Yeah. I didn't do anything. I just got really upset mm-hmm. and over upset. And it, it freaked me out and I didn't like it. So I stopped taking it. I have a question. Mm. What is anger good for? Has there been like, I mean, you're like, oh, anger is good for this. I don't think it's good for anything. Because like when I first started boxing, I thought, oh, okay, uh, it's probably good for boxing. It's yeah. not. It blinds you. It clouds your mind. Mm. If you get hit or get mad, that's why I was so upset with myself when I uh, I knocked down Pineda. Oh. And then I stood over him and yelled. And I did not like that. I oh, hated wow. that. Afterwards, I regretted it immediately. I wasted energy. I let the anger get the best of me. But it's mostly because I was so scared to fight a pro. Yeah. So I'm just a regular guy. Mm-hmm. And now I'm a box professional boxer. Mm-hmm. And this is the first time I'm fighting another professional boxer who wasn't a YouTuber. He was actually a boxer. And so when I knocked him down, it was a relief kind of thing. But then I also was like, yeah, sit down, sit down. But in my head, I was like, don't get up. Please don't get up. <laughs> so I hated that. Anger. Anger Such is never... Such not productive at all. Yeah, like, there's never a good time to get anger. The only time people get... I feel like people don't often get anger, angry mm-hmm. by themselves. Okay, if someone kicks your significant other... Yeah. What do you do? Anger? Oh, oh yeah. Straight up anger? Yep. I, 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 it's probably not the best thing to do, but I. That's if anybody touches my do, friends, yeah. my family, I'll... I will freak out. Yeah. I will hurt somebody. Oh, dude. That's that's why when I box, the first one was for my little brother. Like when I do things for other people or I'm defending somebody else or I'm protecting somebody else, yeah. that's where I just like lock in. So that the first one was for my little brother. Yeah. Second one was for charity. Yep. Third one was for my tag team partner, Nick. Sure. And I was like, okay, I'm going to help him out. Uh, and so... Dude, I don't know if Wild Till 9 will let you talk about that one situation. I don't think so either. I don't think so. I think it's not going to look good on me. Yeah. Like, it's going to yeah. look real bad if they want to talk about it. It's going to be real bad. Yeah. I think it's still a learning moment. Like, people, it happens to people. Like, um, I just think there's things around it. There's reasons why that led up to that. Yeah. That they wouldn't want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I don't want to put him on blast. I don't want to, I don't want to make anybody look bad. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I definitely, that was probably the lowest I hit rock bottom at that point. But there's a lot of things that led up to it that uh, would explain yeah it's like oh like if i said what happened people would be like whoa you suck you have anger problems but then i explained they would be like oh i would it would probably i'd do the same thing like i would end up in that same situation it's nice yeah you're right it's not but, good to put people on yeah i don't, or I don't know downfall like yeah. unlike those people we commenting have to navigate our downfall. very carefully yeah exactly um yeah when's the last time you got like mad when, or the what's the most you got mad like like blinded like yeah nothing like I, I can't like you had to like after it happened you had to sit down and think about what just happened oh, holy and... moly it hasn't happened in a long time every time i try to get to uh, get to that moment i'm like Ooh, okay this is not oh, good what, what, what was it i don't remember i would tell you but don't i remember? don't i really don't remember any time where you blew up no oh i, I really I, I i promise you i don't remember i was playing basketball in this local league one time yeah and for some reason, I was tired. And so on the way there, I picked up a five-hour energy. And right before I went out to play, I took this five-hour energy. And they brought the ball down the court. Yeah. And they went up. And the guy rebounded it. And then he purposely elbowed me in the face. Mm-hmm. And I was like, boom. And then I felt blood going down my face. And I touched the blood. And then I, my hand started shaking. And then he he was like, he did it on purpose, but he immediately was like, oh, trying to say, oh, sorry for the ref. Yeah. And as soon as he got in range, I picked him up by his jersey and I was like, don't, don't touch me. Or I don't know. I yelled something at him yeah. and then I threw him to the ground and then all the, my team and their team grabbed me and stopped me wow. and they had to take me down to the ground because I was just like trying to break out and I I apologize right after. Like, yeah. after the game, I was like, yo, I have never been hit like that. 
and just seen my own blood and I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. It, it was definitely the five hour energy that made me explode. But yeah. it was the first time I was like, oh, whoa. You like blacked out. That's I'm, crazy. I've yeah. never ha- had that. Really? I never had that. I The only time I can recall is the fifth grade, but that was, I was a kid. And what happened? This kid called me like, oh, because I, I just came back from the Philippines at the time. Yeah. And obviously I just got, I couldn't adjust to the culture. So I felt insecure. Uh-huh. I just felt super shy. I had like a slight accent because I was in the Philippines for two years prior to that point. And this one kid, it was recess. He was like, you have a big ass head. Oh, melon head. Everybody, he has a melon head. Whoa. He has a melon head. And then? I just blacked out and I pushed him off the uh, the playground or the little spinny wheel, the mm-hmm. carousel wheel. I pushed him, punched him in the chest like twice. And I don't remember. You get in trouble? No, they suspended him. Whoa. I guess they felt bad because I was like the new kid. Did he cry? Just, I don't know. Oh, you don't remember? I don't remember. But that's the only time I remember blacking out like that. Yeah, I think the basketball one was the first one I can remember. And then another time, I was at Northern. Mm. High school, our high school. Northern High School. And my sister was like two grades below me or something. Oh. And she was dating this guy who sucked. He was the worst. I don't I don't remember his name, but yeah. he was just the worst. He was so dumb and stupid, and he thought he was so cool. And I was like, oh, I hate this guy. And they broke up. Yeah. And I was walking with my sister down the hallway. And she was talking about how they broke up and she's sad, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. And then we come around the corner and at the cafeteria and he, there's some girl sitting on his lap. Mm-hmm. And I blew up. What? I was like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, huh? and then I was like, Rah! and I was like, you! Yeah! And then he was like, oh! and then I grabbed this trash can and I threw it across the room. Oh my God. And I was like, huh! and then I was just coming towards him and I was about to take his head off. Whoa. And then he... He threw the girl down and took off running into the school. Whoa. And then... Uh, what a pussy. Yeah. And <laughs> t- I think his name was Andrew. Oh. And he took off running. Never, I never talked to him before. I never had anything. I think he just got scared. Yeah. He, and he didn't even know why I was mad. Maybe he did. I don't know. But he took off running and then uh, I calmed down and me and my sister picked up the trash from the trash can so the janitor didn't have to do it. Oh, and wow. we put it back. We put it back up. But I, it was crazy. So the moral of the story, folks, if you are Alex's friend, Alex's family, or Alex's well-being, don't mess with Alex because he's going to protect. Yeah, I feel like, you know, in Blindside when they're like, oh, he had a 99% protection uh, rating. Yeah. That's me. Like, I will protect. If I care about you, nothing's going to happen to you. Nobody's going to hurt you. I will go to jail i'll take a bullet i'll get punched in the face i'll take on three guys i'll take on five guys to protect you take on 10 guys yeah 20 guys yeah protect me yeah i will i don't i like uh, logic goes out the window and my main job is to protect you dang i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i don't protecting yeah but like not thinking about it and just doing it what if i feel like one of these days you're gonna just get into that that mode and you just get super so so in trouble yeah, and that's what I fear. No, I don't want it to happen either. But in the moment, I'll do whatever I have to do. Uh, hopefully, I'll be there so I could just stop you. Yeah, that's best case scenario. Yeah, maybe friends too will stop you. Yeah, but if I'm there and I see you in that mode, like yo, you are my sunshine. <laughs> I'll rub you on the head. I'll sing you lullabies. Like snore, snore, relax, <laughs> snore, relax, snore. You think yeah. we met in the past? Like you know, there's this there's this Korean term called in yun. You ever heard in of you? it? In Yoon. In Yoon. Uh, this is, this is, that just means we've had some kind of connection back in the past. Uh, I don't know if I believe in past lives. Mm. Because then that means you're not uniquely you. That means you're just, uh, you've, done the, you've done it before. You're, you're, you've lived before. I like to think we're uniquely us. Like each person is uniquely you. You're here for this time period. And then you don't come back because i find it weird sometimes because we would be for example i haven't seen you in like a week and mm-hmm. then i come back and then we say the same things we do the same things we think the same things so like what did you really just 
do that? Like I hmm. did something similar in the, my weekend. Yeah. Yeah. That, and I just thought, you know, we were just meant to be. You know. Really, I just think that we're very similar, and we've grown with each other, and we've learned from each other, and uh, we just take on each other's attributes. Mm. And but yeah, that's what I believe. Uh, you think reincarnation? You think reincarnation? from human to human is a thing or you think we could have been animals in the past i think we started off inanimate really and over time we developed more and more. i don't know i really don't know so what about the first like generation of humans they were the originals and they were all just replicas of them i really don't know i yeah. wish when i die i want to know all the answers when i die i want to know what the universe looks like when I die, I want to just have answers to everything. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm not super religious, mm -hmm. but I do think there's a higher being. Mm. And I think there is such thing as karma. Mm. Uh, but I, I feel like your time on earth is your time. That's what you get. And then when you're gone, you're gone. Maybe you go to another plane, but... I don't think there's reincarnation. Uh, I'm not sure what the higher power is, but I think there is one. Yeah. Uh, but I just want to know things when I die. Yeah. The moment I die, I just want to. Oh, damn. Like, dang, I should have ate more pomegranates. <laughs> 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 I have a question. Yes. PP size. You think it's an evolutionary benefit, like survival of the fittest? You think that? Well, because in the animal kingdom, sure. They it's the strongest right it's yeah so you think that pp size is an evolutionary benefit like you would you're more likely to survive longer i don't know like uh i don't think so because asians they last a long time yeah they do but i don't think that you think that stereotype is true no 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 it's about having a good lifestyle that's what yeah. makes you live longer i think, I think the thing with a uh, Asians, I think the shorter you are, the the more likely you'll be shorter in other places too. Mm. So that's a thing. Uh, and so like same with like uh, like Mexicans are shorter, so people think that. And then like Asians are shorter, and the taller you are, the bigger everything is. Mm. So I think that's what it is. But I don't know if it's mm. a, like a beneficial thing. I was just wondering. I don't think it is. It's just uh, just how your physiology is, I guess. Yeah. And also speak for yourself. Who said I was shorter everywhere? <laughs> like, have you seen my big toe guy? I don't know why my big toe is that big. I never really worried about it. Yeah, dude. It doesn't matter how big your pee pee is. It matters how big your balls are. Would you? <laughs> and let me tell you, I have, I have some you nice have balls. You have some big balls. Yeah, and I haven't I'm, seen them skin like skin. I'll show you but, later. It's okay. I, that means I'm so fertile. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty fertile. I know. How, how you know? I just know. All right, cool. I can't elaborate, but I know. Okay, same. Very brutal. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I'm not gonna have a problem okay. having kids. Okay, same. I I'll hope do not. It right now. What? What? You know, when I was younger, I was like in my puberty period. I was mm -hmm. like in a hot tub by myself. Mm -hmm. I was like, hmm, what happens if I just? And I did. Okay. And ever since then, I was like, wait, is that good for my fertility? Probably not. I so, think hot tubs are bad. Yeah. Like when you're trying to have kids, I think you're not supposed to be in hot tubs. Um, there's a bunch of things. Because oh. I have some, I can't say who, but there's some people in my life that mm -hmm. are trying to have kids. And there's so many things that you're not supposed to do. Oh. Like the guy is not supposed to do this. He's not supposed to get in hot tubs, not supposed to like do whatever. And there's things you wouldn't even think about. You're like, whoa, you got to stay from this, stay away from this food. You got to stay away from this. You got to stop doing this. As long as you're trying to have kids, you got to discontinue this. I'm like, whoa. whoa, it's crazy. You would, you would, I never thought about it. How many kids you want? Two would be cool. I think yeah. my first option is two. Sex, second option is three. And then third option is one. Okay. I'm not Nothing trying to have four, three. though. <laughs> I, I'm down if it happens if we accidentally have, like, yeah. triplets or twins. But I think two would be a good... Yeah. I just want twins. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. And maybe another, just to take care of the twin. Or vice versa. 
that's the perfect world who knows yeah perfect world i would like to have a son first mm -hmm. so he can protect the daughter or younger brother yeah name um addison oh i always like that name for a boy because i would probably do a names especially with alexis um oh yeah she's the one that makes sense oh really? we're probably gonna like ha probably gonna name them with a's because why not yeah there's a lot of a names and i was at chick-fil-a one time and there's this little boy little asian boy and little asian sister that was a little older yeah and she the little boy was trying to open the door to the playground and he couldn't because he's too little sister opened it up and said i got it addy come on and i was like I stopped her. I was like, hey, what? His name's Addy? And she said, oh, his name's Addison. And I was like, oh, that's such a cool name. Dang. I like it. Uh, we got to save this for another podcast. Like kids, relationships. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why podcasts only post once a week. Like I looked, I did a little research because I never listened to podcasts before yeah. we started this. Now I listen to them pretty often just to get ideas. Like, oh, that's how you do this. That's how you do that. Mm -hmm. Uh but they only post once a week. Maybe they just run out of things to talk about. Or maybe they just don't want to oversaturate the world. Maybe. But I love this. this is, I think this is my favorite part of our job now. Just talking? I love just rambling just about talking. random things? Yeah, I never talk this much to people. This is our second time, so I don't even know if we're doing it right. I know we're doing it a little longer because the first one was like 40 minutes long. Yeah. Um, a lot of comments said do longer and we're, I was like, I'm down. I love this. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. How about the mood? This mood is a little bit serious tone. You know what I'm not looking forward to? Uh, what? Crying. I know we're going to get on a topic one day and we're going to cry, but I'm going to try to not, I'm going to try not to cry as long as possible, but I'm a crier, man. You are a crier. I uh, am too. I cry. Well, what triggers your cryingness? Uh, family. family. Got your ass. Let's talk about family. No. Let's talk no. about let's talk about our family and why we are here and our purpose. I don't want to cry. You want to cry? I, I want to. I just want to avoid crying as long as possible because I know it's going to happen. And once those floodgates open, I'm gonna cry all the time. I gotta tell you, man. I love my family too, Ugh. and I just love what they do for me and their support. And I wish they were here. You know how we grew up and we don't have very communicative families. Yeah. Yours is a lot better now, right? Yeah. Mine too. Yeah. We didn't say we love each other when we got off the phone until I was in my 20s. Oh. I think now same. we say it every time we get on and off the phone. Oh. Or no, off the phone, but. Same. I think after I left the house. Yeah. That's when we got closer. Yeah. And I strive to get better at talking about my feelings. And you know what form they usually come out in? Tears. Speeches. <laughs> oh, I, you I, love speeches. I don't love speeches. <laughs> I guess I do. I just like to get it all out at once. Yeah. So I like to think about things like for Aaron's wedding, for your wedding, for when uh, we I, I had a I, I made a speech for the team. Yeah. Like when we all went to Wasabi, I yeah. welcomed everybody into Wasabi, uh, and I started crying and I wrote this speech. I just wanted to because I feel like when you write a speech, it shows that you took time to think about this. Aww. You want to convey your feelings. And I'm not great at doing that, mm. so I do it all at once just yeah. to let people know, make sure they know that I care about them. Oh. Um, but I cry. I'm a crier, man. You are. You're, that's a very lovely speech she gave. He gave a speech like two weeks ago because we all, technically, we all moved to Wasabi mm -hmm. and the team did. And he uh, he started crying in the speech. It was very heartfelt. I'm Your speeches crying. are very heartfelt. So that's very sweet of you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I should maybe I should try that out one day and just Speeches? write a speech. Yeah. It's nice. It's scary, but then once you do it, you're gonna be like, oh, that it feels good. Mm -hmm. It feels nice. You let people know. They're like, oh, like you didn't know I was gonna give that speech. Nope. And how did you feel after it? I felt great. Yeah. I was like, oh, this. I just. This was, I don't know. I just really understood how you felt. And, and everything I said, you knew, but you didn't hear it. <laughs> and mm -hmm. once you heard it, you're like, wow. Just, uh, just, I just affirms it. See, I'm about to start tearing up. We got a no, James cool. comic. This is only the second episode. I can't cry on the second freaking podcast. Hey, everyone, spam rent and link. It's air biscuits. Yeah, I let's feel do like it. this. This I would want to. The main reason why I want to go do a thing with them is because I want to see how different we were. Yeah. In our second podcast with them compared to the first one. If we ever do go on there, we should watch our first listen to our first one yeah just to see i where really we were at in life that we, was yeah. probably how long ago 10 years ago 10 years ago probably when we first ago. moved to la yeah yeah and i that was right before i broke up too so i just want to 
fit the pieces together. Yeah. Also, uh, comment down below what you guys want us to talk about. Whatever the top comment, top liked comment is, we will 100% talk about that in the following podcast from now on. Oh, yeah. So comment what you want us to talk about. Whatever that top comment is, we're going to talk about it a little bit, at least. We're going to touch on that topic. And improvements, please. We are always looking yes. for improvements. We are figuring this out as we go. I think we're doing okay. I think we're good for, for beginners. Yeah. We're very good. But like, I know I know we're not there yet. And I know with your help, I'm sure we could get there. You guys told us, make it longer. We made it longer. You said we need mics. We got the mics. Yep. Uh, we're still improving the audio. Uh, we know that's very important in the podcast realm. Yeah. So we're, we got soundproofing coming. We got everything coming. We're going to work on that. And then also, how do ads work? I think we just got to get sponsored. That's okay. it. Yeah. yeah. So if, you, if you're a sponsor out there, if you're a brand and you're trying to uh, sponsor somebody, we got you. Reach out to us. We will. We, we down. Yep. Right, I don't know how to do ads, but we got to uh, figure that out. But for now, this episode is sponsored by wasabiproductions.com. Yes. If you want your fresh merch, go to wasabiproductions.com. Yeah. You can use the code wasabian2024 to get... 10% off. Yeah, they got uh, wasabi. This is old wasabi, but this is, they got merch. They got, this is the newer spicy fruit. So if you want to rep spicy fruit, it's right here on my chesticles. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like me wearing the Snorlax for you visual uh, listeners? Do you want me to take it off? Do you want me to change it up? Let me know. I'm yeah. always down. And then for you audio listeners, where would you like to listen to? Because right now we're on YouTube and we're on Spotify. I think that's it. Nowhere that's else. Good. Yeah. Okay. Like you who, don't think... who, who goes listen to bitbop.com? No one. Bitbop? Bitbop. Bitbop. I don't know, man. I, I think it's Spotify. Maybe Apple they're... Music, maybe. I don't We're know. We're new to this world. So maybe there's something, like maybe people listen to podcasts on something crazy we didn't even know about. Man, I just want to say I'm proud of you, bro. So you trying to make me cry. No, no I'm serious. <laughs> like we're making a podcast right now. We don't know what we're doing. We're back together. I'm just proud of how you've grown. Um... I know I've been out of your life for like seven years, but I'm just proud that you have grown and matured to the person you are now. I know you're still figuring it out. I am too. But now we're together. We can figure it out together. We have help. I can back you up when you need me. I can support you when you need me. It feels like the early days, like trial and error again. It is. Let's go. So that's all I got to say, bro. There you go. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, man. There you go. I love you. All right. Um... And hey, even if we fall off, we fall off together. And even if we succeed, we succeed together. Yeah. You know what they say? The further you fall, the further you glide. I had never heard this. Who's they that say this? Ephistotle. Nice. I'm Alex. I'm Roy. Thanks for watching Spies and Fruit. And Hello. listening. Thanks for listening. See you next Friday.